Ambassador Clem, Mrs. Clem, thank you for welcoming diplomatic passport in your residence uh, for the first interview or actually giving for a TV station in Romania. <coughs> Welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, Ambassador, since uh, you arrived in Romania, you already experienced a change of the government. It was a tragic uh, event in a collective club in Bucharest. Mm -hmm. A lot of people lost their lives uh, into a fire, yes. and that led to street movements uh, and, of course, to the uh, fall of the government. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the politicians of Romania um, really understood what the streets wanted from them? Do you think it would uh, be a real change for the Romanian uh, people? I was uh, very inspired by uh, what I saw in early November of this year. Uh, the collective club fire was an uh, enormous tragedy. It uh, resembled uh, gruesomely something that happened in the United States about 12 years ago. Um, we were very um, shocked and, and, and felt great sadness for not only the victims but also their families and, and friends. Um, but what happened in the following week uh, here first in Bucharest and then in other major cities across Romania was very inspiring. Um, tens of thousands of people uh, came up um, very peacefully um, in a spirit of, of civic engagement uh, to um, express their hopes uh, for a Romania, a Romania that uh, is more prosperous, that uh, is not corrupt, uh, that has a public administration uh, that is responsive and transparent, uh, and a Romania that is more like um, the Europe, uh, the rest of Europe, a uh, Europe um, uh, uh, prosperous and at peace. And so. <coughs> Uh, steps were then taken by um, uh, President Johannes uh, to put into place a, a new government. It uh, is the intention of the United States uh, to uh, fully support uh, President Johannes as well as Prime Minister Cholos and, and his government. Um, we will remain a, a strong uh, ally, partner and friend of Romania. Um, I think there's great hope now that Romania will uh, be on a, on a new and, and more positive uh, direction, but that will take time, and it will take uh, uh, time. It will also take the support of, of the Romanian people, um, uh, and we'll, ha we'll have to see and, and, and remain hopeful that uh, the Romanian institutions will uh, deliver the Romania that the, the people of this country uh, asked for in November. From your experience, movements like this change something in the mentality of the politicians? Uh, changes in mentality uh, take a, often a long uh, time to occur. Uh, but that was a very powerful uh, demonstration, I think, of the um, mm. ambitions uh, of uh, mm. Romanians uh, for a, a, a brighter future for uh, Romania, um, again, a more prosperous uh, Romania, uh, one that more resembles the rest of Europe, and, uh, and Romania is a part of the European Union, so these, these ambitions, I think, are uh, both to be expected um, and uh, through hard work uh, can be realized. Mrs. Clem, uh, usually the wife of an ambassador um, is putting aside uh, her own career in order to follow the husband to a post, but you choose differently. Uh, you had a career in banking sector very successful as far as I know. Uh, how was living apart from your husband for so many uh, years? Yes, um, I had been working um, uh, for a bank over uh, 30 years since I graduated from school, um, university, and um, um, uh, my, um, ex uh, my global banking uh, uh, job uh, and uh, Hans's uh, 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 job in uh, diplomacy uh, kept us apart geographically for many years or uh, frequently. Um, it was uh, uh, sometimes uh, very challenging. However, um, uh, uh, there are some merits. We could focus on the uh, our own uh, career goals and uh, uh, during the work, 
and uh, uh, over weekends or on vacations, uh, we enjoyed our precious uh, time together, and uh, we visited many interesting places over, over the world, and uh, that was a uh, um, good part. So whenever we got a um, new assignment to, um, to overseas post, uh, we discussed a lot on how to manage our life uh, together and then uh, decided, decided, to, um, uh, decided which way we should go. So, so far, uh, it, um, we could handle or manage very well and uh, we have no regret. But you decided to join uh, Ambassador Clem here at the post in Bucharest. What led you to that decision? Um, uh, when we knew that the, um, uh, Hans was appointed to the ambassador to Romania by President Obama, uh, we were so excited to, uh, and to, um, to be here. And, um, um, because I, I used to work in Italy and, uh, as a general manager of the bank's operation in Italy, so I knew that um, Romania is uh, one of the most interesting uh, places uh, uh, to live and work in Europe and in all over the world too. Um, so um, uh, we discussed a lot, and, uh, but uh, we believe that uh, the ambassadorial uh, job uh, uh, or assignment to Romania is uh, very, very important for the U.S. and Romania, and also for both of us in this timing. So um, um, we, uh, we, we thought it's uh, exactly the time to uh, live and work uh, together as a team here. And since you arrived ambassador, you are involved in many projects yes. and you go to a lot of events. Yes. What motivates you to participate to all those uh, um, events? Well, uh, Christine, there was a long gap uh, between uh, the departure of my predecessor, Ambassador Mark Gittenstein, and, and my arrival in Bucharest uh, this September, um, more than two and a half years. And so I feel that there's a lot of uh, catch-up work uh, that needs to be done. Uh, that's certainly part of the mo motivation uh, for me to uh, try to uh, meet as many uh, Romanians uh, as I can, as quickly as I can, uh, to try to um, begin to travel and explore uh, Romania outside of Bucharest um, as uh, often as possible. And of course to um, engage with uh, the Romanian leadership um, and to find opportunities uh, to um, explain uh, the priorities of the United States uh, in our partnership with Romania. You are from Japan. It's a country uh, that uh, where the respect for others and the well done work is a way of living. And here in Romania we have the tendency of improvising a bit and being more temperamental. Uh, I, was it a problem for you to adapt here? No, I think um, I have I have been uh, uh, well adapting uh, very much for the last seven weeks. Uh, people are very generous and very nice to me and and supportive. Um, mm, also, um, um, I I I I had been uh, uh, working in overseas uh, since I was a young professional. So um, I understand that um, the each country has uh, different uh, um, values or different uh, um, culture, but um, or characteristics. Uh, however, the uh, basic uh, feelings uh, uh, are very common as a human beings. So um, I somehow I think um, um, I'm well adapting. I think. I think. 
26 years ago, around this date, um, Romania was in turmoil. Um, uh, Romanians were mm. fighting for uh, mm. getting rid of a communist uh, mm. regime, mm. and Romania was starting its way towards democracy. Right. But 26 years later, as we discussed it, um, it was this tragic event at the right. collective club, and the slogan uh, that people were uh, shouting on mm. the streets was, corruption kills. Mm. In your opinion, what are Romania's uh, biggest problems right now? Yes, I, in 1989, December 1989, I was in uh, Tokyo, Japan, uh, far away, but I remember following the news of, of um, that month very closely. Um, uh, Romania, in its courage to um, uh, end the communist regime uh, received a great deal of, of support uh, from the international uh, community. Um, it was actually very inspiring, the, the, some of the events of December 1989. Of course, it was also, uh, uh, also accompanied by a great deal of violence uh, as well, um, um, both uh, immediately after the revolution, before it, uh, and then in the uh, years that, that followed. Um, the, the development uh, that has occurred in uh, Romania since uh, uh, the events of December 1989, um, it, uh, to one extent, is very positive. Uh, Romania uh, now is a member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Um, uh, Romania has, enjoys a very strong strategic partnership uh, with the United States, a partnership that I'm committed to further consolidating um, and expanding. Um, and Romania is a member of the European uh, Union and, and then also fully integrated into the international community. Um, but it does have uh, uh, obstacles it needs to overcome in order to further uh, strengthen its, its uh, role in, in, in international affairs, including here in Europe. And uh, as we discussed, um, the, the first goal it needs to, to meet is to ensure that it uh, finds a way to uh, sustainably grow its economy uh, over time. And the obstacles here, as you, as you mentioned, I think are corruption. Um, the United States has very strongly supported uh, Romania's fight against corruption. And I think significant uh, work in that direction has been accomplished in the past few years uh, through um, uh, resources that have been applied uh, to uh, the prosecutorial service as well as uh, steps have been taken to ensure an independent judiciary and an embrace of the f uh, uh, full embrace of the rule of law. Uh, other obstacles include uh, infrastructure. Um, we've done some uh, uh, traveling in, in Romania. Uh, some of the roads are excellent. Um, they, they remind me of traveling in Germany on the Autobahn, uh, but um, there needs to be a much uh, needs to be much more work in order to fully connect. Um, Romanian uh, roll, sorry, road, rail, and energy infrastructure into the rest of uh, Europe. And so um, uh, efficient uh, use of the resources that are being made available um, to Romania through the European Union funds, I think, is also critical. Um, and then listening to Romanian businessmen and also to American businessmen and, and businessmen and women from third countries um, uh, another area that I think deserves attention and, and the Cholos government is, is paying attention to it is, is public administration. It's to ensure that Romanian uh, public service is efficient, responsive to its people, transparent, uh, and uses the, the resources available both, both from Romanian taxpayers as well as from the European Union in the most effective way possible. Mrs. Clem, coming back to, to your uh, job, which is not an easy one, being the wife of a United States ambassador, uh, what did you need to learn in order to cope with this uh, new position? Mm. Um, of course, it's, uh, there are a lot of things I should learn more, but uh, the most important thing for me is to um, uh, understand my husband's job well and then um, to uh, support him uh, every day, 100%. Uh, 
so I try to um, you know um, learn more about Romanian uh, uh, culture and history and uh, also uh, uh, meet the new people and then understand uh, um, uh, the people uh, around him and get to know more them. Uh, if we are looking uh, beyond the borders of Romania, we can see that uh, especially this year was a very hard year uh, with a lot of wars and very aggressive uh, terrorist attacks. Uh, how come the world diplomacy allowed to this situation? You know, looking back, um, and this is a good time to do so since we're uh, uh, approaching the end of 2015, but if you look at what diplomacy has accomplished this year, the record is very strong. Uh, just last weekend, for example, almost 200 countries uh, that, uh, gathered in Paris to uh, sign a new agreement uh, on uh, climate change uh, that, um, if implemented uh, fully, can have a very uh, positive effect on, on global warming. That was a uh, consequence of, of uh, diplomacy. Uh, also last weekend, there was a meeting in Rome um, regarding uh, Libya uh, that also uh, uh, is paving the way uh, for a uh, government of national reconciliation uh, to be put in place in Libya and end the, the violence and instability there. Um, last September, uh, 12 nations in the uh, uh, Asia Pacific area signed a, a path-breaking a new um, trade uh, agreement, the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership, uh, which uh, could be a model for the uh, trade and investment uh, negotiations that are taking place between the European Union and the United States to liberalize uh, the, the trade in goods and services and, and investment. Um, in June of, of this year, uh, uh, the world came to an agreement uh, regarding Iranian, uh, the, the nuclear program in, in Iran um, that uh, uh, opens the, the road forward for a, a, a development in the, in the Middle East uh, with the re very much reduced uh, possibilities of, of the development of nuclear weapons or the proliferation of nuclear weapons. Um, and then for the United States, a, a very uh, important step forward, an dip important diplomatic step forward was reached earlier this year when we came to agreement to end um, uh, the, um, the frozen relationship that existed between Cuba and the United States. So these are major accomplishments and they were all um, the result of very hard diplomatic uh, work and, and activity um, to solve the problem of, 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 of violence and terrorism. Um, Many uh, believe that uh, a political uh, um, resolution is necessary uh, to be fully successful in ending the instability and the violence uh, that is coming out of uh, Syria and Iraq now. Um, certainly our, our military and, and law enforcement efforts have a, will have a role to play in, in combating terrorism, um, but a political so uh, solution will depend on diplomacy. Uh, so I think um, uh, what we need to do looking forward to 2016 is, is step up the, the ver sometimes very hard work uh, of diplomacy to uh, ensure um, uh, peace uh, in, in the world. Well, diplomatic passport program uh, for almost four years now shows uh, what it means to be a diplomat because the general opinion about uh, your job is that uh, usually nice people dressed elegantly discussed uh, over a glass of wine about important or less important things. Can you uh, both describe us a day of your jobs here in Bucharest? Hmm. Mrs. Clem. <laughs> <laughs> um, every day I, I'm, I'm busier than I expected before. Um, before I just go to work in, in the office, but now I um, I check the, um, the my husband's schedule, although schedule, and then uh, um, if um, um, he has uh, several meetings here in the residence, then uh, I have to work with the our uh, house managers and uh, or staff, and then coordinate uh, the lunch or dinner or those things. 
and also uh, if I attend the events uh, uh, we host here, then uh, I have to uh, understand what's the background of them, those events and then um, try to uh, understand their uh, guest uh, background and then uh, try uh, to study, you know, the beforehand. Uh, and you know, the kind of uh, things, uh, ongoing events every day. And then sometimes I'll go out and then sometimes I'll take a subway and then take a walk for three hours and, and then take a look around uh, the shops and I like shopping too. So that is a kind of... <laughs> so you have a bit of uh, time for yourself as well. Yes, <laughs> yes. And Ambassador, you surprised uh, everybody after your arrival here in Romania by speaking Romanian. So can you tell us uh, a day of your, uh, of your job here? <coughs> um, you know, when I was sworn in as Ambassador to um, Romania by uh, Secretary uh, John Kerry, he reminded me that uh, President Obama uh, and he expect me, uh, above all, to uh, represent the United States and, and to advance uh, the interests of the United States in, in Romania uh, through our strategic partnership. Um, uh, in addition to that, um, uh, I also have the responsibility of ensuring the, the safety of, of um, um, Americans in uh, Romania. So with those two primary goals, I, I have three things I have to do almost every day in order to uh, advance uh, my job as the uh, United States Ambassador to Romania. One, I have to represent. Uh, uh, President Obama, the government of the United States, and the people of the United States in Romania. And to do that, um, I try to do all the things that we've talked about already. Meet as many um, of the leaders of Romania, both political, um, in parliament, um, uh, culturally, uh, in the media, um, uh, as well as the, the people of, of Romania, uh, whether it be students or businessmen. Um, I also have to um, uh, uh, interact almost on a daily basis with Washington to let Washington know what is developing here in Romania so that as it adjusts its policy uh, whether uh, directly in regards to Romania or uh, towards the European Union so they uh, uh, that policymakers in Washington best understand uh, the Romanian views on, on developments um, and then my third res daily responsibility is to uh, take care of my staff, uh, to lead uh, my embassy, uh, to ensure that they, that all of my team um, uh, understand our, our priorities, uh, that they are using the resources that we receive from the American taxpayer in an ethical and efficient uh, manner, and that, that everybody uh, has uh, um, challenging and rewarding work to do, that our, and that the morale of our our uh, American families here uh, are, are, uh, po or is positive. Um, so that's, that takes, those are the, the basic responsibilities. Well, Christmas is, uh, is going to be next week, so uh, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for the interview, and I hope you will both have uh, enough time to practice the Romanian lessons you take with the Romanians you are going to meet this Christmas. Merry Christmas.